Hi, welcome and congratulations on choosing the overall pack. The overall pack to me is a fantastic selection, if not the best selection that we have on offer because you not only get a selection of whites, reds, but also fortifieds and liqueurs. So let's begin. Our very, I always go from dry to sweet in each variety. And that is the order that you should be tasting your wines. Don't go backwards and forwards. So in the whites, we have our Vidello and Vidello up first. Vidello is Queensland's signature grape variety. I honestly believe our Vidello is the best in the region. It truly is a beautiful wine. And this is the only one I can say to you does not taste how it smells. It smells like tropical fruit on the nose, but it doesn't taste like that. Remember to agitate your wine, bring up the aromas, smell your wine, get those, those taste buds watering and enjoy your wine. So that is our Vidello. At 12.8%, she's a biggie. So I'm glad you're at home because that's where you should be when you're drinking these kinds of wines. The next white up is our Wizard. It is a bit magical and you'll notice that it is a lot fruitier than the Vidello. Vidello, I would say, is medium. This particular one is fruity. It is a late harvest semillon. Now, as I've said before and in cellar door, it is illegal to add sugar to wine in Australia. However, how do we get the sweetness into this wine? We leave the fruit on the vine to over ripeness. So this is a late harvest semillon. It is not overly sweet at all. It has beautiful aromas. I smell apricots. I, it has lovely finishes to it. And it can be drunk with anything that's got a bit of spice to it or even a pork dish, white meats, anything that you finish off with a bit of spice, even just a beautiful grazing platter of cheeses and fruits. This is a beautiful wine. So that is your wizard. The next up, we have the whites to the reds. Now, the transition will be that we start up with the reds and our Syrah. Syrah is our Shiraz, if you like. Some people say Shiraz, some people say Syrah. We've named our Shiraz grape variety Syrah after the original name of where the grape comes from. Little town, Syrah, formerly Persia, now known as Iran. And this is where the grapes originated from. It is a bit more sophisticated. In Europe, they, it is named Syrah. Uh, in Australia, the term for the grape is Shiraz. Our colloquialism has definitely ruined the English language in many different ways. But our Syrah is 14.8% in alcohol. It's up there, but it is very fruit driven. I get blueberries, plums on the nose. It, it truly is quite delicious and very Moorish. So the more you taste, the more you like. Enjoy. That is our Syrah. Next one through, of course, is our Revelation Red. This will finish off the reds and the wines for you because the, the other three remaining are all fortifieds. So at this time, our Revelation Red is like no other. Make sure, as with the whites and all your wines, they need to be refrigerated before you drink them. Serve them chilled, you'll enjoy them better. Particularly this one, it needs to be treated like a white wine. It is a red grape, but it's made like a white wine, meaning no oak and served very cold. You'll get a big hit of fruit to start, that cuts off and it finishes dry. It truly is a revelation and it is a beautiful wine, so enjoy. Now, we have our three fortifies. As you can see here, I have our starboard, not a port, 
and I'll tell you about that one in a sec. Then we have our cognac and walnut. Cognac and walnut is from Moffat Dale Ridge. And I'll tell you about that one. And lastly, we have our cedar cream, creme de la creme. So I will tell you about that one as well. To start with though, we will start with the starboard, not a port. Now, the owner here is 86. His name is John and he loves his fortifieds, in particular this one, because when uh, it was named that we were not allowed to call our ports port, all the winemakers started to come out with all these different names. Traditionally, we have three different styles of port. And this is uh, a tawny style port that has been in oak for 12 years plus, and it really is uh, a delicious port that tastes like Christmas cake in a bottle. That's the easiest way for me to explain it. John put a ship's wheel on it because he was in the Navy in the early days and he called it starboard, not a port. It is a play with words. He is a funny man. So that is our port style. All our fortifieds are 18 plus percent in alcohol. So that means you only need to have a small amount. You may have one of these type glasses at home and that is perfect for trialling your ports. But if you don't, just remember, only pour a small portion because they are very strong. But hey, you're at home. So when at home, house rules. That's what I say. So there is our fortified as far as the ports are concerned. Next up is our cognac and walnut. Now this is for people who don't necessarily like creamy drinks, but do like something different. The cognac and walnut is amazing, absolutely amazing. It, you get maple, very much maple, like maple syrup almost uh, on the tongue. And one person told me that he puts it over his pancakes in the morning. And I can actually see that happening because it really is so delicious. The mixture of uh, the cognac with the crushed walnuts brings out these beautiful deep flavours that I know you're just going to absolutely love. If you're allergic to nuts, please don't have this because it does have crushed walnuts um, that have disappeared in the alcohol, but um, it really is quite delicious. And one of our favourites, indeed, in our household, we like to serve it cold. I have it over ice cream. I have a little shot of it neat on the side, and it is definitely a favourite. Write to us. On our, through our website and tell us how you like to enjoy your cognac and walnut. Then last, but by no means least, we have our cedar creme. Creme de la creme, as we say. Piece de la resistance, the beautiful way to finish your wine tasting. Now, we're not allowed to refer to this as, um, as a particular wine at all, it is a fortified wine. So that means it started off as a white wine, this particular one, and then it's had the added brandy spirit, cream, and it has a little bit of vegetable extract in it too. Almost all the seven different grape varieties that you need in your diet every single day. The only thing that's missing is a carbohydrate, which you can get from a Tim Tam biscuit. So pour a wee dram of this and suck it through a Tim Tam and have a Tim Tam cedar cream. You won't be sorry. It really is lovely. I think it gives other creamy-like drinks, meaning uh, Kahlua or Bailey's, and there are several others. It gives them all a run for their money. This is patented just for Cedar Creek Estate and it really is so delicious. It will last six months open in the refridge. So make sure you keep it in the refrigerator. And again, 
being a strong fortified, you only need a small amount, but I absolutely love it. Hell's bells, guys, throw the lid away, pop in a straw, make sure it's chilled, enjoy your drink. It really is yummy. So cedar cream, and that completes our overall tasting for our overall tasting pack. Again, congratulations, wine a bit more, you're gonna feel a lot better. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.